Hello everybody, today we have a damn good video. We are welcoming back Chris to the channel. We did a video back in June 2020, it was a while ago, and it was a 0-60 battle between my Honda and his Sia Ibiza Cupra. And your Cupra was legit a second quicker to 60 than my Honda. But now you saw that car now, and you've uh, finally upgraded Chris, finally got your Golf Bar, so why don't I grab the camera and you take us on a tour. Yeah, so this is my 2016 uh, Golf R. Yeah. It's nice and red. Yeah. Um, I got this, because I just needed a power upgrade, and this just, I don't know, it just stands out loads. I did already get it done, like, so it already had the splitter on, the spoiler on, the tints, and a lot of people would be a bit like, oh, you've bought a modified car. But power-wise, it's stock. I've put a Ram Air induction kit in it, so, that's that's the only performance mod, what, but that'll what's do nothing. It pushing stock at the moment. Stock will be 300. Um, but yeah, I, I want to take it. 500 is the goal. I don't want to take it past 500 because I don't want any major issues with it. Um, but 500 is probably a safe number. That's like stage three. Why did you go for a golf bar? You know, there's amazing hatchbacks out there like um, the i30 n Type R. Well, I've been in an it. i30 n I've driven an i30 n and that's like 275 brake, and it just didn't feel didn't really excite me much. Um, didn't feel much different than the Cupra. It was a bit faster, but not loads. So it's a bit pointless. Uh, I was thinking about an A45, but then it's like I saw one on the way here and it just blend, blended in way too much. Like it was sat behind me and I just thought it was a regular A-class. So yeah. um, the Golf R though, straight away, it just stands out. Like, you know what it is. So, yeah. Have yeah. you gone for the DSG or the manual? I've got DSG because my last car was a DSG. I love DSG forts. And obviously, if I'm taking it to 500 brake, I don't really want to be losing that time with the gear changes. I know, obviously, you can get short shifters and stuff, but DSG yeah. is just the way forward, really. Yeah, so uh, obviously, I was going to ask if this car is stock. It doesn't look stock. So what are the current mods and what future mods are you going to put on this car? Well, look, it's just got a Ram Air intake. Um, it's just got a low-line kit. That's just like an eBay low-line kit. But to to be honest, that's probably the one I would have gone for because it just makes your car look a lot lower than it is. Um, it's got the Otinga style carbon fibre spoiler, yeah, which, is, the back, which is real carbon fibre. It does look well nice, you know, I've got to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, like the fuser, these fins, they were custom done because normally you see them, they've got three and then the slat across the middle, but that's just, they've just like put four on there, which I don't know why they didn't just buy the normal thing but yeah. whatever is it um, blacked out as well is it what blacked out yeah yeah like i think these these are tinted definitely tinted i think they don't look as tinted as the other ones but they definitely look a bit darker than normal got any mods on the interior chris uh not on the oh yeah on the interior it's had the i think it's the infotainment system uh, in the middle that's the upgraded to the 7.5 and so is the virtual display however that is giving me problems at the minute because uh, i don't think it was coded right but yeah but yeah, oh, it has had a res delete as well. Yeah. So the exhaust is, it's loud when you're giving it some, but when you're idling and just cruising, it's pretty quiet, which is all right, so yeah. Are you planning on taking it to the drag strip, anything like Santa Pod, etc.? Well, I'm going to Santa Pod, uh, I don't know when it is. It's like the VW breakout, it's in May. And um, I was going to put it on the strip, but I'm going straight to stage two instead of stage one. So hopefully I'll be stage two by July. So obviously it's just a bit pointless taking a stock Golf R onto Santa Pod. But I am putting it on like the stand, so uh, I'm going to get it all detailed up, make it look nice, and then it can be on show then. But Are you yeah. going to get a uh, aftermarket intercooler, bro? Because if you're pushing stage two... Oh yeah, for the stage two, it'll be intercooler. I've already done the induction kit. I'll be getting a new uh, a downpipe, a cat... Yeah. Like, uh, what is it? Fucking... Sports cat. Sports yeah. cat downpipe. <laughs> and... The stage three map with the stage, oh no, stage two map with the gearbox map, and then I might get a catback exhaust as well. But it depends on if it's too loud. It won't really give me much performance anyway. Are these PS4s? PS4s, yeah. Are you going to be changing them over? Are they they look brand new to me. No, they're not brand new, um, but they are pretty. They're all pretty good. I've, I haven't had them slip on me once, so yeah, I'll be definitely be sticking with them. Definitely not moving to any other tyre after I've had these. Oh mate, it's such a good car in uh, red. It's such a good colour in red. Yeah, yeah, because everyone has the blue. Yeah, I know. Um, what I was about to say no one has the red. Well, obviously people have the red, but not many people. Were you going to uh, go for yeah. the uh, the free door? 
No, I prefer the five in the Golf Rs. I don't know what it is. It just, it's, it's not a long core, but in the three, it just looks too stretched out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It makes it look a bit smaller, and I don't like that. I think five door makes it look pretty good. You know what I mean? What's the boot like? Let's have a look at the boot. Is it big? The boot? Uh, no, not really. Oh, that's actually pretty small for a Golf R. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's about similar to the Ibiza, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. I think it is a bit longer, actually. The Ibiza probably went to, like, there. But, yeah. Oh, it has got these little slats here, because I was took them out. Yeah, and then I've got, <laughs> I've got these two fins. The fins. If anyone knows where these go, let me know, because I've got no idea. Are these not on the front? No, these were just, these were just in here. I've, honestly, I've got no idea what they're for. Are you going to lower it anymore? I don't know, because it's a nice ride, all right? I've, I've hit the splitter once on a speed bump. Only once, though. Um, so I think if I go any lower, then I might hit a few more. So I don't really want that. So I'd rather just keep it as it is. But I might do. Are you going to um, get some uh, yeah. big exhaust tips? Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because I don't mind the noise at the minute, but at the same time, you sort of have to have a smaller back box to get the tips, because the, you can't take them off. You'd have to cut them off and then re-weld. So I was thinking maybe just making the back box a bit smaller and then obviously having tips. But it's valved, so I'd have to get rid of the valve, so it's just complicated. Where's the button? And expensive. There's no button. It's just in sport mode and uh, drive whenever you fuck it into race or sport. Chris? I think we should go for a drive now. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Let's go for a drive. Show me what it's got, mate. Show me what it's got. Show me what it's got. Now. Be one. We're in uh, Mexico, by the way, aren't we? We took a long trip to Mexico, to be honest. That was a long trip. Still put it in. So the suspension's a bit thin. Not much though. How many miles does this car do? 42,000? No, 62. That's wrong because that's the clock from when this was put on. Do you know what I mean? Because like, this is new, new oh, screen. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Right. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Wait, let off. Oh, can you hear it? It sounds mint. Go okay, wherever I go. Oh, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Defo need uh, more exhaust noise. Wait, actually, well, you haven't gone. Well, we haven't put your foot down yet. Yeah, you haven't put your foot down yet, so okay. I'm, uh, I'm speaking too soon, I am. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mate, it's quick, it's quick. All right, all right, okay, okay Chris. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. What the... <laughs> I bet the launches are brutal, though. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. Good, yeah. All wheel drive. You ain't messing about. Best part, floor from a bit, a bit slower, I feel you feel it more then. But that, that doesn't didn't really impress us. Yeah, because we went up to, uh, that was 30 miles per hour, wasn't it? That was, I think, yeah. 30, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At least. Yeah. <laughs> from 20. Are you going to get aftermarket with Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it flies. Yeah, 
real pain. I would cut the it. cost. No way. <laughs> do you have to take the under tray off and all that? Yeah, well, it's or a big, you do big the job. Because the turbo's here, are right there. So, oh, so they've got to take to, off a lot of stuff. Not get like. all the way. You don't have to take anything in the front, but it's a big job. Go back around, Chris, okay. and then we'll go do the 0 to 60. Right, you ready? Brakes. I need new uh, 
pads, I think, to be honest. Porsche, 996. What? What? What the f was that though? What was he beeping at? <laughs> We're on the roundabout. <laughs>